Hey everybody, Wendy Klinky here from Blue Cat Studio. I teach women and men how to paint both online and in person. So today we're gonna to do a very quick Valentine's design. Oh, Hershey's Kiss. Let's keep it simple. So I'm feeling like this needs a really bright pink background. Now this is a funky pink. It ha does not have the best coating, but we're gonna go ahead and get it on there anyways. A little bit streaky, just kind of get some base color happening. Actually, I think it's fluorescent red. I don't really know. But talk about just a fun, simple, goofy way to enjoy the holidays, share the hugs and kisses with everybody's favorite, some chocolate. I love chocolate. In fact, I tell you, when I was pregnant with my first child, my son, like I had chocolate every single day and he was the happiest baby. And I was a happy mom too. All right. So this just is really gonna give us a, a base pink undertone. And I think I'm actually even gonna go over this with a paper towel, if I can find one. Oh, there's one. Kind of blot and dab at it to pick up some of the excess wet paint, but still kind of, you know, some paint boogers on my brush. What the heck? Come on now. All right. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's eraser bits. I'll tell you a story of my life these days is there's always a little bits of pink chunk from erasers. Okay. Well, that's cute. I like that color. Real simple, kind of streaky. Up close, it doesn't look so awesome. From back here, it does look awesome. So, to add a little bit of texture and keep, oh my goodness. Girl whose workspace is a mess. Kind of dab. And I'm not super worried about getting inside the Hershey Kiss itself. I'm gonna try to protect the little saying there, but let's see if we can't just kind of A base there it's still a pale fun pink I'm gonna come over it with some of this deeper magenta pink color I'll float some of my paint on my favorite prospectus book all right oh yeah this is much thicker that's better I think I did this in the wrong order I was just so enamored of this hot red pink color that I went straight for it instead of waiting that's okay More eraser bits. Okay, let's get this whipped out here real quick. Happy pinks. And again, you know me, I usually do a couple different coats just to keep it interesting. Maybe do some blending a little later. I'm not sure that light pink base was, it, 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 it glares through a little bit. All right, so again, we have a nice base, simple pink. I'll offload my brush a bit just so that I'm not totally messing with my rinse water there. Don't forget to dry your brush after you've rinsed it. I already paint on my fingers. Anybody else sloppy like me? And I'm gonna do some turquoise on the Hershey's Kiss. Make sure my paint is good. It's nice thick stuff. Just coming in again. This is our base coat. But boy, pink and turquoise are kind of fun, aren't they? Oh, picking up a little bit of pink in the base there. So since I accidentally grabbed a little bit of pink with a brush from the edges, I'm trying to move it back and forth to isolate that tone kind of at the base. And we're just gonna pretend that it's shadows and call it good. So we'll offload some of that just so that I'm not continuing to smear it. I'm grabbing some more pale blue. So when we have accidents, like Bob Ross says, they become happy little accidents. We just kind of work with them, use them to our advantage, or figure out how to use them to our advantage. Because life is never perfect. Lord knows I'm sure not. Hmm. 
cat hair. Well, you know, blue cat has cat hair. Just filling in your little, little kiss there with some nice turquoise. And I'm trying to keep the stroke sort of moving up towards the, the apex or the peak of the, of the kiss. Because, you know, when you think about like a, a kiss, it's, it's, it's tinfoil wrapped, right? And, and so there is a little bit of texture in the wrapper. It tends to kind of move upward. And then one or two more streaks across the bottom. Again, I keep picking up some bits of that pink, so I'm just trying to work it in as best I can. Well, that's coming out okay. I still have more designs and ideas for that, so we're gonna go, we're gonna keep working on that. Offloading some of my paint. Again, I just have like an old, you know, kind of newsprint book. It's a perspective from some financial company or other. I probably own like two shares of their stock, so they send me, you know, more than about six years worth of dividends of paper just to tell me how the stock is doing. But you know, that's how those things go. I'm gonna get a little bit more paint going on on the top. I think I'm gonna do a blend, so I've picked a lighter pink. So first I started with a deep pink, and I'm still gonna want that deep pink at the bottom. In fact, I'm changing, changing things. I'm gonna do more deep pink at the base We'll move our way up and then I'll, I'll add the light pink because I think I want to blend, but I really want a little bit deeper. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's funny, I was looking the other day at one of my, one of the, some of the comments on my Facebook post and some of the other pieces I've posted. And yeah, y'all are get, starting to see I cannot live without super intense colors. So why am I wearing gray camouflage? I don't know. Oh yes, I do. Cause this was literally, I like the cut so much of this sweatshirt and this was literally the only color and pattern that they had left at Old Navy. So I bought it. That was on clearance. Cause you know, I'm scrappy that way. But you know, it's funny. It's like, it's cold, right? It's, it's February. I just been skiing. And I don't know about the rest of you, but the number one body part for me that gets cold is my, 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 my rear end. And so I find like these whole like short crop top shirt styles, while they're certainly like really cute, they leave my they leave my little bum out hanging and cold. So I'm always like in the store shopping and looking if like, is there a sweater or a sweatshirt or something that's just gonna kind of cover and keep me warm? It's a warm thing, I swear. All right, was that TMI? Sorry. I love you anyway. Hopefully you love me too. So there you have it. That's why I'm wearing gray camo because it was literally the only thing. All right, pale baby bubble gummy pink. Well, that's kind of a lumpy stuff, but we're gonna just kind of blend some here at the top. You know, I think we would do better off with white. Let's grab some titanium white. Where is it? Where'd you go? Had it out. Oh yeah, I took it on my road trip. So we'll grab the, the blackout white. I'll do the same. Paint bogies. Blue, dark blue. Oh my gosh, I love this pink. So I'm gonna take the white, because I'm just not satisfied with that. I think I'll get a better blend. Yeah, yeah that white kind of pops the intensity of the pink a little better than that bubble gummy. Again, this is just a quick, fun video. Filming way too late at night to be decent to go live on Facebook. So uh, you can kind of see the blending going on. It's not quite as prominent as I'd like, although in person it does show. So I'm adding a lot more white here. And the idea being that I kind of want to get a little bit of a streaky, textury look. In fact, we'll just go for it. Streaky, textury look here. And so I'm trying to get some uneven tones that just kind of add a little bit more interest. I mean, if our paintbrush strokes are going to show, we might as well make them purposeful. So I'm looking at small kind of dab, dab dots of paint as opposed to big, long um, brush, brush strokes. Oh yeah, that's fun. I like that. That gives a great effect. I think this is going to be one of those hair dryer paintings. 
where I'm gonna have to go to town with a hair dryer to get a couple of these layers of paint to dry so that we can come in and do some of the next parts. Oh yeah, oh, I love that. Let me just toot my own horn and be like, I love it, it's so amazing, but I do. Very streaky. Oh, I got a little, no, no, oof, I almost dropped that face down. A little extra going on here. I'm gonna have to tone that section down just a smidge. Yeah, I want it to be consistent looking. Maybe a little more dab of pink to just kind of mix. Okay. What? Oh, why are you with your gunge? Okay. Offload on my prospectus. I tell you, these prospectus pages are going to be so pretty. I'm going to be doing collages for like years after I've finished all my wiping. Go ahead and rinse. Dry. And I'm going to break out the, um, the hair dryer and let it blow dry this a little bit to eat, to get it to move along. Because we're going to be working with some materials which could get awfully messy and kind of ruin the whole thing if we don't do this right. Bear with me while I plug it in. Oops. Okay, here we go. So I just ran that on full heat and it pretty much dried to the touch. There might be one or two spots, but for the most part, that really kind of did the trick, which is good. So pouring myself some more white because I completely pinked the last bit of white. Oops. I'll take another brush here. Just gonna kind of get the white going on in this section. Deep. In fact, I made that guy a little, a little too wide. I think I'm gonna narrow him up with some, some bits of pink here. So maybe like so. Well, that's better. You have those moments where you look at your work and go, oh, that needs tweaking, that needs tweaking. It's okay to be a minor perfectionist. Just, you know, give yourself some grace, cut yourself some slack. We're here to have fun. Sorry, I'm painting this face of myself right now just to make sure I get this tuned the way I like it and not all wonky. Sometimes when you draw stuff and paint stuff from the side when you're trying to get a shape right, your brain just gets all out of, out of perspective. Okay, there we are. So just was tuning the outside a little bit so that was a smidge narrower and you know I think a kiss of blue would also be good to go in here kind of a turquoisey tone that way it's not just plain white so I grabbed just a tiny bit of turquoise put it on my brush and then went straight for the white I made a little bit more turquoise along here allowing a lot of that blending to occur right on canvas if this is your first video with me, welcome to Blending on Canvas. If you've seen me do this before, then you know I'm always blending on canvas. Just grabbing touches of turquoise intermixed with a white. Just keep it from being plain, boring white. However, despite all the blue that's in it, it's still going to give the visual illusion of being white. Clean up an edge here. I got a little, a little carried away. Good thing I made it narrower because now all my strokes are making it wide again. Should have been like a double, triple wide if I hadn't shorted up a little earlier. Okay. So it looks white, mostly. 
but it also has a little bit going on. So I have a bit more of a turquoisey streak on one edge and kind of letting some of that turquoise show. My brush is totally saturated with white. And then I've got little bits of turquoise on the tips. So majority of this painting I've been doing with a square brush. I didn't really talk about that this last time, I apologize. And then I changed up to a round brush just to, for the smaller spaces. So I'm gonna offload the paint from both of those on my old newsprint scrap here. I'll tell you, these offload papers do look pretty. Just rinse them dry real quick. Smidge more white here to get this guy out of my way. Don't have paint on my sweatshirt yet. And just kind of tune that. Okay. It works. It totally works. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that brush. grab some, I think we'll go with a cobalt blue for the word kiss and XOXO, but I'm also going to want to kind of mix it with white. So just literally going to kind of grab a, a chunk of blue, a big drizzle, pop it over here. That's probably three times, four or five, ten times as much paint as I actually need. Found it. That's okay. So now that I've just basically wiped it off and I have a little bit of blue on my brush, I'm gonna grab some white and come over here and just kind of mix until I get the color I want. Can you see that? Come closer. My oh, light is so bad. There we are. I'm like a little bit bluer than that. Oh, that's getting up. That's getting awfully pretty, isn't it? A smidge more blue. I believe that is a Decorate Americana True Blue. I don't remember though, because I put it in that tub so many months ago. It could be anything. Now my brush looks so thick, I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swap out for something skinny. I have a skinny brush that's open. Oh, yeah, we'll try this guy. So this is a, a triple zero. from Michael's. I don't know what I spent on it, but this is not, not a cheap brush by any stretch. Itty bitty, teeny tiny. Look at that, that is a teeny tiny bit. All right, don't fail me hands. You gotta write this right, it's all dry. Okay, good. So we'll write the word kiss. Okay. Well, I tell you, I love a good fine liner. I'm horribly rough on them, so who knows how long they'll actually last. Okay, I let's get the little S's in there. S. And notice I'm not doing that S all in one stroke. I'm really having to lift and sort of form the shape through a series of strokes that will best lay the paint down. K R F F I N G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes. Oh, right, we're not in third grade anymore, are we? There we go. Kiss. Should we change it to kisses? I think so. I think we'll add an E S to it. I was going to do an X O X O, but I think kisses is good. Letters are getting bigger and bigger, but why not? Because it's fun. Kisses. Do, 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 do. Okay. Get this guy a little white, gently. Make sure the paint off if I can, quick rinse. Now, I am going to wash my brushes with soap and water when I'm done. That is really the only way to ensure good brush health. Oh, wow, I've trashed this guy. It's got all pink all over it. Oh, hey, look, I have pink on my hands. I don't know why some of these things are so surprising, but sometimes I still catch myself off guard. All right. Are you guys ready to make this guy a little bit more fun? I am. 
But first, we must run the, the not the dishwasher, the, the hair dryer, not the clothes dryer, the hair dryer, dishwasher. One more time, just to get this section dry. Now, if you're wondering why sometimes I sit there and shield my thing when I'm blow drying, it's because I've got a lot of wet paint over here and I don't want the over dry to just blow and, and prematurely dry out my paints. It's probably just me being superstitious, but whatever. Okay, so this is my special handy dandy jar of, oh, come on. Come on, special sauce, there it is. I call it my special sauce. Really, it's just Mod Podge, matte finish Mod Podge um, with a lot of glitter in it. It's kind of like a nice shortcut. And I do believe that our kits need some glitter. So we'll go ahead and add the Mod Podge in first and just get that glitter going. Now it's gonna dry pretty much clear with kind of a green shimmery iridescent look. But I think that we might even wanna consider adding couple extra spots with more glitter. I'm a little bit afraid about that, but maybe we'll let this first batch dry and then come back with a second coat in just a few key places where we want the, the glitter to be extra, extra, extra. Okay, I'm trying to keep it smooth here, fairly even coats. And you cannot really see it, but this is highly glitter impregnated. So yeah, when I go over it, it goes on goes on white, but it will finish out clear. Just a little bit here in the tip. You know, I think we can also glitter the heck out of the, the kisses part here. And so this is one of my, oh no, I smudged it. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to add to my art kits. It's a little bit of my glitter special sauce. Again, it's just Mod Podge and ultra fine, you know, crystal iridescent glitter. Um, but I tell you, I just love the effect. And so, you know, if you do like the gnomes painting with me or any of the other things, I always try to either include amazing gold, although for most of these, I just did glitter because the glitter is so fantastic. Um, so that you can add glitter without making an insane mess. Um, but we are going to add, make an insane mess in a minute because loose glitter Loose glitter is a nightmare. Here we have some loose glitter. Also have some glitter packs, which I'm trying to decide what to do, but I'm a little bit nervous, a lot nervous. Even have a special tray because you know, glitter is like a virus. Once it goes somewhere, it's there forever. And it just goes everywhere. Okay. Yeah, glitter is scary. You'll find it like six years later in your floorboards. Kind of like sprinkles, you know, when you're doing Christmas cookies with little kids, you find sprinkles in your floorboards three years later after the party. Okay, I'll go again after this sucker here with a hot thing. have some pretty good shimmer, but I think we can make it even more shimmery. 
but I wanted that to dry because when I pour glitter on, I want it to only stick where I want it to stick. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, so I have kind of an accidental shadow on this side, so I think I'm gonna make the shimmer happen here. So we'll go ahead and use more special sauce. I'm gonna kind of do this like highlight streak. So kind of from the base here, we'll kind of come up almost like a tapering you can kind of see it where I'm, I'm putting it on because it's still white it's almost like a stripe maybe a bit extra thick there it should be is that too stingy though we need some more let's do some more yeah i have a little paint smoosh there so i should do more a little bit here just a little little something So I'm just kind of adding these lines. Okay. Here comes, here comes, here comes. Okay, there's my lid. I'll stick this guy in so he doesn't get all hard. I tell you, Mod Podge is rough on brushes. Okay, let's do this. My special protective tray. Keep me from going completely crazy here. Just partially crazy, right? So now the question is, do we do the crystal glitter, which will be almost white? Or what do we have here? Anything good? Not. Mm, I'm gonna go with the crystal, blah, 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 the crystal glitter. Pop. Okay, here we go, ready? I'm just gonna sprinkle it on and see what happens. Okay. I'm just going to give it a minute to kind of adhere itself. And so I have paper here too, so I can kind of, right, let's see. What do you think? Dump it off and see what happens. Ooh, that's fun. Check it out. That sucker glitters like crazy. Super fun, right? So we actually added highlights and some extra kind of strokes with Mod Podge and glitter. And um, very simple, but I think that's gonna be just about, just about what we wanted. Oh, you know, maybe a shadow. I think we could use a shadow. So you saw I had a tray which helped contain my glitter and then a piece of paper. And now I am literally gonna just pour all that glitter right back in. So, you know, maybe we'll have like six to 10 rogue grains of glitter instead of like a gajillion, which makes me happy. Okay, so now that we're back here, I'm gonna add a little shadow over here. And I am liking how that blue and that pink kind of mixed accidentally. I'm gonna try and go with it. Grab some blue, kind of smush it here. Grab some of that pinky white. Oh, I need some of the pink too, huh? Yeah. So one of the good ways, oh, you know, this blue would be really good. A great way to create shadows, often with kind of purples or taking a tone that you had and mixing it. Black is a nice elementary way to add, add shadow, but sometimes, sometimes it's just too flat. And when you can add like, like a purple or like a, even use a, little burnt umber brown tone that can be kind of fun. So I'm just gonna add little strokey bits here, kind of just gently along the edge and kind of pull out a little bit wider from here. So if the edge is right here and it starts to go up, we'll pull out a little bit of that shadow and then pull kind of more this way, just keeping it really light feathery strokes. Now I've kind of got a fun little shadow there, feeling like it's a little intense, so I might come through and just pull some of it up with my brush, offload, grab a smidge more of this pink, and then see if we can blend and just kind of tone that a little bit. So. By adding a little bit more of the pink back in, kind of takes that down a notch. And then I can kind of soften the edges with 
a little bit of that pinky white pink blend. Touch of purple still in there to shadow it, but give it soft, crisp the edge a little there. Feathery, feathery, feathery. Okay. And there you have it. A happy little Hershey's kiss. Very simple, slightly wonky, and oh so fun. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye. And don't forget to share and like this video so that all your friends can do this too.